All right, so what you want to do is you want to make a game over screen. Now, one of the important things that I've already done, I made a simple game here where when I click the green flag, the ghost is chasing my cat around. I'm trying to collect apples. So every time I collect an apple, my apple score goes up by one. And then every time the ghost ch gets me, my lives go down by one. So right now, this game just keeps on going. My lives have gone down to negative, and I need to make it so that I have a game over screen and that my lives don't go down to negative seven or whatever it might be because I want the game to end when the lives equal zero. So the first thing I need to do is I need to make a game over screen. So I'm gonna go over here to the stage. I click on backdrops and I'm gonna go over and just to keep things simple, you can choose another backdrop if you want for your game over screen. I'm just gonna right click. I'm gonna duplicate my game over screen or my the screen I had, which is Blue Sky 2. But I'm gonna give this the name Game Over. And then I'm going to use my text tool, pick my color, and then I'm going to type game over on my screen. And you can choose whatever font you want, whatever you think looks good. I kind of like this old school pixel video game look. And then I want to make my sign, my game over screen big enough so that it can show up. And if you want to stretch the letters out this way a little bit, you can do that too. Okay, so now I have a game over screen. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to code this. So I'm going to click on the code. And I have no code here. Notice there's no motion blocks because I'm coding on the backdrop now. I go to events and I want when the green flag's clicked, I want my game over screen to come up. So I'm going to say switch backdrop. I'm sorry, not my game over screen. I want my blue sky background to come up. So when the game starts, it's on blue sky. Now, I'm going to go to control and I'm going to put an if statement and every time we use an if statement we have to put a forever loop around it so the computer keeps checking and I want to say if lives equals zero then I want it to switch to my game over screen. So how do we do that? Well I'm going to go to operators I'm going to pick equals sign and I'm going to say zero. Now you can't just type lives in here in Scratch. You need to make sure you go to your variable and I'm gonna pick lives. I'm gonna say, okay, if lives equals zero, then now you gotta think about what do you want to have happen if this is true? And what I want to have happen is I want it to switch to my game over screen. So I'm gonna go to looks and I'm gonna say switch backdrop to game over. All right, so now I got to see if it works. And as this counts down, I've got one life left. And I've got zero lives left, and it switches to game over. But I have one problem in that my lives and my apples and everything keep going. The game doesn't really stop. So what I'm going to do, you have to be very, very careful with this block because it will mess up everything in your program. But under control, there is a block called stop all. And as long as you're sure that everything that you, all the code you want to work is done working, you can put a stop all game block in here. So I'm going to switch to game over, then I'm going to stop all. So it's going to end my program and it will be everything else is going to stop at that point we'll see here if it works there we go game over now 
I can still move the cat just because of the way I coded it. But notice when I get the apple, nothing changes. When I go to the ghost, nothing changes. So that is how to make a, a game over screen. Now you would repeat this exact same code on a new screen if you needed to make a winner screen or you wanted to change levels. I could go on to backdrops here and I could do the same thing. I could say, well, duplicate this and I'm gonna call this one, I'm just gonna say you won and I'm going to change it to a different color because I don't want to put the game over color as my main, maybe a nice blue. There we go. Now, once I make that bigger, I have a winner screen as well. And then I would write the same code but I would say maybe I want my game to win when I get 20 apples. So I could say if apples equals 20, then switch backdrop to winner screen. And then I wouldn't put the stop all unless I wanted the game to keep ending. This will also, you can also do the same thing to make your game level up. Let's say I wanted a new level when my apples equals 10. So I'd say if apples equals 10, then switch backdrop to level two. And then, of course, I would not want the stop all because I wouldn't want the code to stop writing. But that is how to make a winner screen and a game over screen in your game in Scratch. So good luck with that. Let me know if you have any questions.